Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiza and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use an M-Pesa app. We are going to download the app and I'm going to show you because recently Safaricom they introduced on registration online and majority of Kenyans living abroad in Gulf, they did not have the chance to re register their lines. So today I'm going to show you a video on another way how to use your M-Pesa. This way we are going just to download and if you can't download the MPS app, you can also use the star 334 hash. And majority of people are complaining that it's not working at all. So I'm going to show you the easy way on how to download the MPS app, how to activate it and how to use it. If you like my video, please subscribe, share it and don't forget to leave a comment below. Hello guys, this is my Android phone. I'm going to show you how to activate your M-Pesa app. Because if you see here on this video, I already downloaded the app and I had already activated it. But I'm going to show you the simple way and the steps that I followed. So, in order, first of all, you have to go to your Play Store. For those phones that have Play Store, you have to go to Play Store. After going to Play Store, you have to come for search. As you can see here, I had already downloaded the mpesa app before so i'll just click on it and you can see it was already open but before this app you'll be able to activate you can see here i had already activated it and it's only to put a pin but i'm going to show you back the steps that you can use if you don't have this mpesa how to do it you have to go back you have to come up here when you come up here, you you see this is Wi-Fi. So you can put off your Wi-Fi and open your data. Once you open your data, you go back up again. You can go back. You have to go to your settings. Once you go to settings, you go to there is a phone is set for vibration or you go to network. You have to click on the network. Once you click on the network, you see my Wi-Fi is off. You have to go to that mobile network. Mobile network, there is something called here data rooming. This data rooming, already when I opened, it was on. It came on. So you just click to it to be on. There it is on. Then you go back. And before you do all this process, you make sure that your Safaricom line has a credit on it. You have to make sure your Safaricom line has a credit on it. Maybe somebody from here can send it to you or somebody from home can send it for you for you to be able to use this service. Then you will go back to your M-Pesa app. As you can see, it's opening because I had already activated my data. It's on. That is my data rooming. It's on. So, and somebody sent you the 10, the 10 shillings or 20 shillings of uh, credit and you activate that way. You have to activate. Your details will come once you activate. So, I'm going to put my M-Pesa PIN number. You see, my M-Pesa PIN I have already activated and it's open. You can see there is nowhere it's open and all the services are there you can send money you can pay bill you can withdraw and you can also can use airtime you can see other features you have to book flight you can book anything you can see on so on the transaction you can see the transaction everything is there the services also everything is there for safaricom for growth it's also there all your activities you go home all your activities are there let's say you want to send somebody money now you go you want to send money let's say like i'm sending to my family member send money you just click then here it will tell you enter phone number you search for the person that you are entering phone number. I'll just send a hundred shillings. Send the person you want to send number. The number will come on the screen immediately. Then continue. That is my sister. 
see the number already just came back on the screen this is the money the amount i want to send to this person here it's telling you how much you want to send let's say i'm sending 100 shillings you see once you put this amount you will press again continue it tells you connection fit once it tells you connection fit and it tells you try again this means you are using your rooming data meaning you need to go because you are abroad you need to go back and open your wi-fi you put off your data rooming you open again your wi-fi you see i hope you have learned something there once you open you again your wi-fi you come and go retry once you retry you go back again and it's telling you 100 yen 100 shillings for this person this is my sister and see it's my sister and i'm going to send now send i have to put it gives you the name of the person and the amount so i have to put my mpesa pin to be able to send my mpesa pin and the transaction is successful i hope you like this small video yes my sister don't worry i send you small amount because i was teaching how to use this app so you can see already message confirmed i have already sent money to my sister if you if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment and if you want to learn something else new just share with me and i'll be glad to answer all your questions bye bye next time thank you so much Thank you.